Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, 8 on your side investigates. A vote in Congress impacts tens of thousands of Vietnam veterans. Did your senator, a veteran himself, stand with them or not? Well, many of the estimated 400,000 Vietnam War veterans living in Florida are dealing with illnesses tied to chemicals used in that conflict. Now, the VA provides medical and disability benefits to veterans suffering from some of those diseases. But as Aid on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews tells us, despite the science, the VA steadfastly refuses to cover other illnesses. Good evening. You know, back in 2016 and 18, researchers with the National Academy of Sciences found evidence linking the herbicide Agent Orange to bladder cancer, Parkinson's-like symptoms, and hypothyroidism. But that science just wasn't good enough for the VA. In 1965, as 20-year-old Ron Babcock loaded jets with bombs and missiles aboard the aircraft carrier Ticonderoga, he had no idea one day all three of those diseases would plague him. I've had 12 bladder cancer surgeries. At times, the Ticonderoga sailed within sight of Vietnam. The VA presumes Ron was exposed to Agent Orange that drifted into coastal waters. Our desalination tanks would have sucked that nasty stuff up and we would have bathed in it, drank in it, and, and cooked in it. Ron suffers from diseases the VA presumes are linked to herbicide exposure and diseases not yet on its approved list. You would think that when the government sent you in harm's way and you came home sick, that they would take care of you. The problem? Well, I'd say it's going to be multi-billions. The VA wants more studies. These folks are suffering. Military veterans advocacy's John Wells. My question is, why do we need the studies when we've already had the National Academy of Sciences uh, has looked at it and done the correct study? I think what the government's trying to do is just hide it under the covers until we're all gone. This is the problem we've been fighting all along. The government says, yes, we're going to take care of you. But when it comes down to it, they don't. It's a shame. A dirty, rotten shame. This afternoon, the U.S. Senate voted 94 to 6 to expand that list of illnesses tied to chemicals used in the Vietnam War. Marco Rubio voted in favor of it. Your Senator Rick Scott, a Navy veteran himself, voted against it. In Hillsborough County, Steve Andrews, eight on your side. And since the House did not include this particular amendment in its version of the defense spending bill, it will now go to a joint conference committee in an effort to resolve any disagreements with the Senate. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.